each campaign is a little different. You know, sometimes they're about people, sometimes they're about uh, particular issues or which direction we're going in. I think this one was really about what kind of leadership we need in a crisis. Mm-hmm. And so what I've learned is that we all agree our city's in tough shape. Every candidate knows that. Every candidate agrees it's crime and homelessness. But also people want you to run the whole city. So they want you to deal with those, but they also know you still got to do things like animal welfare and solid waste and planning and everything else in between. And so it's really about uh, can a mayor put together a leadership team that's going to make a difference across those issues. As we sit here on November 2nd, we've just hit our 95th murder uh, in the city as of this morning, the Southeast Heights. Which will obviously we're on our way towards a yearly record. What's what's gone off the track here when it comes to combating murder in Albuquerque? And how do we explain this to voters? I think what really changed was this summer when we got our Metro Crime Initiative together. And that was something, you know, it's it's hard to believe, but never has the attorney general, the DA, the state chief of police, legislators, the governor's office, even judges, even the public defender's office sat down and tried to answer the question you just asked, because fundamentally it's an acknowledgement that we all have a role to play. So yeah, the mayor has a role and sure, so does the chief of police, but this is where the revolving door comes in and gun crime comes in, how we're actually uh, you know, dealing with the connection between the two and looking at the public health nature of uh, violent crime with respect to people, with respect to people who essentially shoot back. And you see this even this weekend, You know, this is about groups who are fighting with each other and shooting each other. And so to understand that, you get to these ideas like our violence intervention work that we're trying to do and we need to have statewide. And so that agenda that we came out with in September that is about changes in the criminal justice system, Mm -hmm. that is something that is new and that is something that I think is going to make a real difference. The other one is APD has been retooling for a long time. We've put $80 million into actually trying to bring us up to like 2015 level crime fighting technology. And that's definitely going to help things like the gunshot detection software and so forth. But I do want to acknowledge the ocean we're swimming in. You know, I mean, this was the highest year for violent crime in the history of America, according to the FBI. So uh, we need to keep doing what we've got to do. uh, But we also need to understand that Uh, We're connected to broader uh, trends, whether it's felons coming from California and committing crimes here, which we saw earlier this summer, uh, to our own issues around addiction that we've got to deal with at every level. Both of your opponents, Mayor, have tried to paint you as someone who doesn't support law enforcement officers, actually. I know you've heard a lot of this. The union notably just announced they will not endorse any of the candidates in this race. What do you need to change if elected to get the union and rank and file police folks on board with your vision? Well, I think actually this was a good thing for us. I mean, I'm literally running against a police officer. So the fact that the union didn't endorse the sheriff is a major victory for us. That was expected. Uh, That was similar with fire. Anytime you're running against someone who's in public safety, uh, you don't expect to get those endorsements. Um, But I think for us, we know, and I think we've learned from each other, uh, they know what they get with me. I will stick to my values and we're going to set goals and we're going to hold people accountable for them. And we want to work with them in that process. And I do think actually they would admit to this as well. We hit, we do talk and work in a collaborative way. We just don't always agree. And I think what they'll get with reelection is uh, they know what they're getting. And I think we've proven that we can work forward and move together. Mm-hmm. But no, when they push back against reform, I will push back against them. When they say things that are not true about our administration, I will push back against them. We've given our officers the largest pay raise in history, but we've also created amazing things like our community safety department. And they supported us on that to their credit. So actually, I think we have a lot to build on, and it's a lot better uh, working relationship than you might see in a headline. 